more light. Oh, there we go. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Oh, oh there, there we go. Snuggling day. Snuggling day. I'm waiting for some of you guys to come out. I'm late. I know I'm so sorry, and I'm fidgeting with my hair. And I have two handsome, rich young men here with me. Uh, hi, Leanne. As soon as I said young, you were up. Hi, you guys. We're talking about the crypt crypto cryptocurrency and oleum and oleum. Do you hear that? We can make money in space. That's what we're talking about. But I want a few guys to come up before I start. I can't talk about it if you guys ain't up there. So you guys can entertain me till they. Here goes another one. Hello, Missy. We're gonna. You know what we're talking about. I'm waiting for a few of you guys. Come on out. We're gonna play. Hi, Piara. Oh, we have three of you. I'm still. That's not enough. That's not enough to start them. <laughs> that's not enough to start a money show. Okay, there we go. Hi, Jessica. How you doing? I know you want to hear about this too, honey. Come on in, you guys. Keep coming. One, but you want to come on in here and join us? Come on, you guys. Come on. Don't be afraid. So let's start a little bit with the, about the cryptocurrency and give them a little bit for them. How to make money with cryptocurrency? Yeah, how to make money. He's going to tell you how to make money because it's just going crazy. Laugh out. You see my profile pic. It's me at nine. Of course. I am young. Okay. Check that out. Yeah, you have to. Okay. okay. So let's, let's start talking a little bit about the, the currency. And you guys can explain a little bit about it. Well, I mean, yeah, people want to make money, right? Everybody wants to make money. That's the kind of thing. That's why everyone's so crazy about getting into, into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and all those things. And I want to make money, and it, it, it's, gone, it's going crazy right now in the world, is it not? It, it is. It's, it's kind of over the top right now, and uh, there's, a lot of, um, there's a lot of demand, a lot of people trying to get into this market right now, and uh, it, it can be dangerous. And what I mean by that is, 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 is you have to do your research and figure it out. I think a lot of people think of Bitcoin as something that they can just kind of jump in and, and, and buy a coin. And, and a lot of people want to do that. They just want to sit on a Bitcoin. But I, I would encourage people to just to do a little bit of research and figure out what it is all about. Um, especially about uh, security. This, this, this whole blockchain, this whole Bitcoin network is so secure that you've got to make sure you set things right or you could lose money yourself. Because this isn't like just going to a bank and going down and, and uh, you know setting up an account with the bank. You're setting up a private account, a secure account, that you need to make sure you can keep the keys, the public keys, the security, security keys, so you don't lose your money as well. And that's why I think people really need to get educated before they just jump in, because uh, there can be some pitfalls. I've heard a lot of stories about people that bought Bitcoin or had Bitcoin two, three, four, five years ago, and they lost their private security point, uh, um, a, a key. And then they'll never get their coins back. They, they could have hundreds of thousands of dollars in coins, and they can't get them back. So when, when, you, when you say that they lost their keys, that's where the, it's like the money's in a bank. They, they lost the key to the bank. It's not even the bank, because it's not controlled by anyone. But the, like the, the network is, is, is actually, it's, 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 it's controlled by hundreds of thousands of nodes all communicating with each other. So if you lose your, your information, what is, and it's maintained by a public key, which everyone can see, it's like an address, a unique address, mm -hmm. and a secret key behind it, if you lose that secret key on this network, you're done. So that's why people really need to get educated. They can't lose this kind of information. It's like it's like they, they didn't put something in their safety deposit box and the house burned down and they didn't have it. Like they, they've got to keep this information. That's why when people get into things like this, start up a, a crypto wallet and all this kind of stuff, they've got to get educated because uh, um, I've heard some tragic stories of people rushing into this and uh, losing, losing a lot of wealth. It's not really even just rushing into it. There are people who have literally put their uh, Bitcoin on an uh, old computer and somebody threw their old computer out, their hard drive out. Oh, and then all and the gone. information is gone. Yeah, you're never getting that back. So, right now, Bitcoin is worth what, you guys? Because, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's frantic. Everybody's going frantic over it. What is Bitcoin worth right now? Right. Today, one Bitcoin is worth about $21,000 Canadian. And uh, it's kind of hard to believe, but twenty-one thousand Canadian, Canadian for one Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's 
it's only going up from there. I mean, uh, I I think you're going to see hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. Uh, now, you don't freak out like you don't have to buy just one Bitcoin. You can buy satoshis. Those those are like little bits and pieces of Bitcoin. So if you if you see a price on any one of these altcoins, I mean, you can you can buy them in increments. So anyone can really get into cryptocurrencies at whatever level they're at and, and start and start slow and, and figure so it out. What's the lowest they can start up, right? Because somebody out there that doesn't have money is thinking, can I buy this currency with a hundred dollars? Or can I buy this can I buy a piece of Well there's either two like there's there's two or three things people are doing. One thing they one thing they just go and buy a, 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 a portion of a Bitcoin and they just let it sit and hopefully Bitcoin goes to a million dollars and that's what they're that's what they want to do. There's other people that that want to start trading, right, and get into other cryptocurrencies, right? So they've learned that someone came up to them and said, oh, I made a whole bunch of money on Litecoin or some other coin. Mm -hmm. And they go, well, how do I get Litecoin? Well, okay, if you got to educate yourself, sometimes you have to go and buy that Bitcoin first and then trade for Litecoin. So you have to understand some of the steps to get that, that alternative currency. We were talking earlier about um, the weed. Mm -hmm. Is it the oil coin, the oil bit, the oil, what is it called? Because I feel like an idiot right at this moment. Are you talking about the oil, the oil coin? Or no, the, the, the cannabis coin. The cannabis coin. Yeah, I oh, know. We were just... Yeah, tell these people a little bit about the cannabis because, I mean, most people are going to run out for that, right? Oh, that's right. Because, <laughs> I mean, they're making it legal anyway, so why not? Right. And by the time this opens in July, I believe that will go like this. Yes. Am well, I right or am I wrong? Well, cannabis coin came around because the real reason is there's a lot of uh, legal dispensaries in the states, like in Denver, Colorado. They were legal operations. A lot of people were going and buying cash from these dispensaries, and they were becoming like a bank where they needed to have like a um, a, a bridge truck come around and take cash away. Well, where th their idea was someone can go and have cannabis coin and go buy in a crypto where they just do a transfer, like an electronic transfer. So it's for a safer transaction. So I mean, there's there's 1,400 cryptocurrencies out there, and they're all trying to solve different problems. And uh, I mean, the market capitalization of cryptocurrencies now is, is approaching one trillion dollars. This isn't a small industry anymore. It's growing by leaps and bounds. And uh, um, uh, banks are noticing it. Obviously, governments are noticing it. Banks are clamoring to figure out what uh, blockchain technology uh, means for them. Because really, what you're doing is you're cutting out the middleman and all this. You're cutting out the control. Banks don't like that. Governments don't like that. But it's too bad. It's too late. You can't stop this technology. So what they're what they've got to learn to do is work with it. And how is it going to benefit them? And uh, I mean, you're not going to stop this crazy. This isn't a fad. So if I if I bought a piece of Okay, it's in a circle, and I buy a little piece of one of those. A little piece of any coin. And I, I mean, and I wanted to cash my coin in. Mm -hmm. Do I get cash, physical cash? Well, okay. Well, so let's say, let's say uh, you went and bought some Bitcoin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you went and bought some uh, Ethereum, let's say. Okay. okay. So Ethereum is uh, another platform, but it's, it's like another coin. Okay. So, so many times you can go into, put it into an exchange and go and buy Ethereum. Or you can buy cannabis coin, or you can buy many, many other coins that are out there, Litecoin, and they're traded on exchanges. And a lot of these exchanges, they still need to know who you are, because what you can do is you can cash your money as well. Uh, so I can get your money back. Get cash. Yep. Yeah, okay, you can get the money back from okay. exchanges. Yeah. But most people don't want to take cash anymore because because Bitcoin has been going up so drastically. When someone gets their money out of an altcoin, they call them, or all the other coins, it usually goes back into another, I'll call it a base coin, like Bitcoin. So Bitcoin right now is kind of like the U.S. dollar compared, like it's a it's a for the cryptocurrency world. It's, it's everyone compares themselves to, to Bitcoin. So when when they when they when they cash out that that Bitcoin, yeah. do they have to pay a penalty on it, or do they have to? Pay anything to cash it out? Yeah. Or there's transaction fees. There's transaction fees. Like, I mean, so, 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 so what's happened is, is you know, Bitcoin is kind of like, I would call it the model C for of the industry. It's the original coin that got started. It's reliable. There's only one color. It's the way it goes. And there's been all these other coins that have been formed from Bitcoin that are, some of them are more efficient. Some of them are, like, there are all these little tiger coins that are coming out right now that, that uh, you know, like I said, Ethereum is worth a, a $1,200 a coin, U.S. dollars right now. Uh, but it's solving a whole other problem. There's all these other coins that are coming out now that are, are solving many problems and, and creating value for people. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, reason, the reason why is that uh, these coins have come uh, to that value is because people trust that there's going to be a future value in these coins, just like the stock market.
So now, um, Dave, you have a different kind of coin. It's called a oh, well, our the oleum. oleum token. Yeah. Okay. Can you explain a little bit about that to us? Yeah. It, it's really, uh, I guess, an example of what people are doing now with their alternative coins. Bitcoin being the original, the master, but all these other derivatives are popping up, and people are are investing in them. So. It, the Ethereum network has allowed these initial coin offerings, is what they're called, uh -huh. to be created. And then you can put an asset behind them as the backing, the foundation of why those co tokens are worth it. <coughs> okay, so what we've done is we've said there's a lot of wealth in cryptocurrency that is looking to diversify. And we think that Alberta Oil & Gas has a strong enough proposition that they should invest in that entity, the asset. So the token now, our Oleum token, is backed by Alberta Oil & Gas, which means that you've got a long, strong-term possibility for future returns. Okay, instead of just trading, trading, trading like mad, so let's do a longer play that's got a real asset. I think we have a question here. Somebody has a question here for you. Um, what's the stability? Wouldn't it lose its excitement like every other investment idea. If we're talking about Oleum, no, we don't believe so. Because in essence, what we're doing is we're, we're taking a longer term approach. We're saying, let's let your, the value of the token grow over let's say four or five or six years as opposed to, you know, boom, 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 we're gonna trade, trade, trade all the time. So that creates more of a, of a longer term play. Uh, we are also the first regulated and securitized token that's gonna be available on an exchange on a securities exchange. So what that allows for the investor or the token holder to do is to get a dividend payout. So you've diversified your asset, not liquidated it into fiat, and you've created more of a diversified wealth portfolio that will strengthen over the next few years. That's why we don't think it'll be a flash. Okay, we have another question here. Uh, I am here in stories, just curious, what what is hype and what is true? Well, I, I, I think there's hype in every market, right? I mean, mm -hmm. so this is, this is a, 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 like the Wild West of, of, of a new financial um, era. And, um, you know, so you, there's, there's scammers out there, right, in any new industry. Uh, so you're going to see that. We saw that at the start of the Internet, and we're seeing it still the Internet. There's so what should they look out for? Like, she wants to know what's real and what isn't real. What can she do and what shouldn't she do? Well, well let me just say that as far as ICOs go, the majority of the ICOs, and there's probably about 200 of them that have been born over the last couple of years, and over close to $3 billion have been invested in those ICOs, 99% of them are absolute crap. They are not ever going to make it to market. So it's just an idea or a concept that uh, people have trusted will happen, but there is no possibility uh, or, or even probability that many of them will even come to fruition. So do your homework, look at what the asset is, look what the offering is and what it's backed by. That's what's most important. Yeah, like I said, there's, there's 1,400 cryptocurrencies that have come around the last uh, couple, in the last uh, year or two, and uh, um, there are some that are just point blank, uh, just like in many markets that uh, you know they, they won't make it. The, the you know they were um, you know, there, there weren't serious backers. There weren't they, it wasn't a good enough story. Whatever it is, it, it was it was a lot of craze. There's a lot of new cryptocurrencies now that are coming out that are really trying to solve different problems, but. Um, the bottom line is, is, is um, blockchain technology is not going away. So, you know, at the start of any industry, there's a lot of um, newcomers to the business. There's a lot of scammers. There's a lot of stuff. But the cream will rise to the top. And that's why banks. Push it over time. That's why banks are to get into the business and understand it because it's not going away. So what about what about? Uh, there's some single mothers with children that probably have a few dollars and, and want to invest. What would you guys say and how would you tell them to do it? What would they do or what would they do? Right? In, I would say right away. Um, in order to... Um, sorry. I, I would say right away, um, if, if anyone is thinking of investing in any type of speculative investment, because this is very speculative, is that this, you guys, this is something... Have some, 
where you invest your rent money. This is, this is, this is, this is like uh, investing in a highly speculative stock. Um, or this is, so this is uh, money that that you know you should expect to lose. You don't 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 bet your rent money on this kind of stock. Very speculative. Um, you know, um, it's because you have to understand in any second you could you could lose your shirt. Right? And so I would say if there's a small amount that someone wants to put in and that's right or whatever, you know, that's great. But please don't put your um, the money that you need. Some people call the rent money, but this is just, this is more like um, speculative money. Okay. It's yeah. like any investment. Yeah. If you're not prepared to lose it, don't, don't put it, it in. Yeah. Um, Liana says your top three, four in I can't see investigation. And oh, like investment? Like opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, I, geez, I get asked that quite a bit from, from people. And there's so many there's so many opportunities in the crypto world. I would say probably one of the best investment opportunities right now is Bitcoin. It's <laughs> um, the Bitcoin. It, it is the, the, the one Bitcoin. And what it is is because if you're new to this industry and you don't understand all the different coins, you could do nothing and just sit in Bitcoin. And I, I literally believe that... Uh, Bitcoin value will go up, it'll double at least uh, by the end of this year. Uh, and so you could just sit there. So that's the number one investment opportunity. Um, there, uh, I would say there's a couple other um, platform points that are coming out in the next two months. One obviously is Ethereum, which I think is a great investment. Um, that's the, the platform that uh, Dave's token is based on. So what you have to do is everyone has to buy Ethereum, to Ethereum tokens to invest in, uh, um, in all these other tokens that are uh, created on the Ethereum platform. So I think that's another uh, stable token that people can invest in. Um, you know, for speculative tokens, I mean, there's tokens that go up by 200% in a day or something like that, but they can also go down by 200%. Um, so there's, um, I, I really like a new platform called EOS that's coming out. Yeah, it's, a, it's a new next generation platform, uh, it's EOS. And I've, I've, uh, I think it's a really good platform. Um, but there's just so many to speak of. We could, we could create multiple shows on talking about <laughs> all the opportunities. That's true. And, and we're talking about today about the weed. I don't know how to say it. I don't know. The oil, yeah. the oil, the what do we call it? Well, cannabis one. Cannabis. Sure. That's a really good one for. Yep. It's, it's affordable right now, right? Well, wow. so, a lot of affordable ones, but yeah. I think we talked about it because it's, it's solving one specific problem in an industry, mm -hmm. and there's many other coins that are trying to solve different industry problems. Uh, there's a lot of um, privacy coins. Okay, so you know, you talk about uh, coins that have come out, uh, like Monero is one coin that's come yeah. out. It's where you know people want to send money. You know, someone working in a certain area, they want to send money back to their family. Mm -hmm. um, Monero is an example of a privacy coin that came out where someone can. They want to send uh, money back to their, their, their home country. Well, what they've used that to do is go to Western Union or you know, some other bank, and they they sometimes charge 15, 20 percent. Oh know, yeah, right? it, I mean, so the, these coins and there's and Monero is just one. There's other coins that do this, but being able to transfer value back to your family without having to go through the system, right? Is is um, great. It's huge because even now I I think there's a lot of uh, uh, countries that you cannot send. Western Union won't send the money anymore mm -hmm. because of the um well, it's unstable. Yeah. So right now people Expensive. are sending money but they won't even pay it out. Yeah. So there's that Bitcoin that could help them, right? Which is, is fantastic. Can you imagine working your butt off and you want to send a couple thousand back to your family or a couple hundred back to your family and uh, Western Union or some of uh, these these okay. other organizations so, taking fifty. No, I am I am I'm gonna have I mean, come to like you know, like and another thing is, is we have to realize is in Canada, we're so lucky to be banked. There's so many opportunities to have a bank. But there's, there's billions of people in this world that don't have access to financial services. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the real story here is actually not here in North America. It's all around the world where people can actually take their cell phone, have an app, and be someone. They actually be able to take a value of currency and be able to spend it and do something with it. And uh, um, without the worry of going down to a local uh, loan shark or a bank or getting robbed or whatever, you know, like it's, cre it's creating, uh, it's creating a whole bunch of empowerment for people that never had access to these types of services. Well, if you look at the Philippines, for example, it's literally what happens there is you send money through Western Union. That gets collected at the depot or the exchange in mm -hmm. the Philippines. They take the cash, 
and they put it on a motorcycle <laughs> courier. <laughs> oh wow! To deliver to that home where it's designated to go. How safe do you think that is? That isn't very safe because between from there to there, he could be just taken out. Taken out. Yep. And well, it's getting worse and worse every day. And I mean, right. there's. I think the current is a good thing because there's people that can't afford, but if the current is there and they can use that through technology, because yep. that's what it's coming to, it's coming down to technology. Totally. Somebody has a really big, um, who wants to read that one? What is your... 500 to 1,000 investment worth of trouble, uh, worth of trouble in Bitcoin related coins. Is there anything else, anything? Well, I'll knock it over. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's that's it. What's your baseline recommendation uh, dollars for investment? Get the idea of okay. So, so you could start anywhere. Like that, that's what I mean. Like if you had a hundred dollars, you could you could find a way just to get into Bitcoin, right? You're not going to be trading it around though, because you're going to be charged fees to to, to do it. Just like you know, like especially in the Bitcoin network, right? Um, so. If, if you were going to go and just open up a wallet and put a, a certain coin that you believe in and just let it sit there in a, in a, in a wallet, um, but I've heard stories of people taking a thousand dollars and um, you know getting a little account set up, getting like anyone can set up a little brokerage account, like a little trading account, and start trading ten dollars at a time, fifteen dollars at a time, twenty dollars at a time, and working and getting their assets up. I mean, if that's an amazing story. It takes a little bit longer, right, and time, but. I hi, hi, Michelle. How you doing? Sorry, she said hi, Alfie and guest. Okay. How you doing? Hi, Michelle. Educate yourself, Michelle, because the Bitcoin is the big thing. Absolutely. Hi, Nicole. How you doing? Go ahead. Sorry, I cut you off. That's I didn't okay. mean to. No, it's okay. No, but that's okay. The, the uh, difference is you don't have to just open up some brokerage account with, uh, uh, like, the regulated brokers right now are looking at this, and they're, they're, they're actually losing out on a lot of business because they can't really touch this thing. But here's another legitimacy is, is now the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, which is like one of the, the biggest uh, commodities trading organizations now, have a product where you can buy futures in Bitcoin. It's taught now, so like the, uh, the um, kind of the mainstream financial institutions now are jumping on this because their clients are saying, How, why can't I get into Bitcoin? Right? Well, no, it's not regulated, you can't get, well, now the, regula the, now the regulatory bodies and states are allowing people to invest in this market. And a uh, prime example is what Dave's here doing because he's in a, he's investing and it's, it's a completely uh, applicable to the regulatory environment right now. Like yeah. He's money, right? yeah, we are a securitized token that's completely compliant mm -hmm. with all current regulations. Yeah. And uh, that's going to put us in another league. Like there, there really isn't any right now. Yeah. And that's, you know, it's the good and bad. That's the pros and the cons. If, if anyone can get in this business, that's the bad thing is there's all, anyone getting in this business because, you know, people, the, the Securities Exchange Commission, the states, they say, you know what, you're an unsophisticated investor. You know, you shouldn't be investing in this type of investment. Well, uh, who are they to say that you're not sophisticated or sophisticated enough? You should be able to make that decision yourself. They, right. they just don't want to cut out the middle. So they just want the middleman in there, so they're going to tell you whatever. Well, I think, I think the, legitimately they want to protect the consumer as well. But, but sure they do. The, the government also does get nervous when, try to, yeah. the when, someone, when someone can get involved in, and move their assets without government interference. Right. This, this is truly disruptive technology yeah. in many ways. We're sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. These guys are all <laughs> stuff in their face. She's been starving us all day. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry, you guys. I'm coming. But seriously, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but seriously, you guys, I think this is really important for you guys to educate yourself because I think this is where the world is going. I think money is going into the toilet, mm -hmm. and. The, the currency, the big currency, is what's coming into the world. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know if it says exactly in the Bible something about the money will be taken away, but there's something that states that we will we'll be bothering. It's not going to be um, yeah. money anymore, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this, 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 this currency thing seems real. Well, what's happening is, is um, and I don't want to talk all gloom and doom, but, but right now, like back in 2009 when we had a big debt crisis, the same thing is happening with, with, with now countries all around the world. 
they're, 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 they're printing their dollars, right? More and more every day, every every year, um, and they're making cheap money. Well, that may sound good, but what they are is they're creating a, a balloon or an inflationary example where their currencies are going to be worth nothing. So everyone that is understanding what happened back in 2009 is going, I got to find an alternative. Because what happened last time? The stock market went down, people's housing market went down, people didn't know where to put their money. So people are now clamoring, usually they go to gold or some sort of... Uh, yeah. um, uh, 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 like an Hi, asset. Janet. And, uh, but now they're going looking at cryptocurrencies going, well, wait a sec, Bitcoin's been around since 2009, and, and right now, no one has hacked Bitcoin. No one's been able to game the system. How can you gain hundreds of thousands of nodes of ledgers all correcting themselves by the second? You can't do that. So, you know, like, it is, it is a secure environment. So people are looking at this, this type of um, this technology as a, as a haven, a safe haven for their wealth. And it's not like buying a brick of gold where you got to keep it in your house or whatever. <laughs> you can, you can, you can, crypto can go wherever you want. It goes in your pocket. Well, it, it, it's yep. not even that. It, it, it's, uh, I mean, you can it, transfer like it, it anywhere. It, yeah, it's transferable anywhere. And so, uh, like I said, you know, governments well, don't like that. When you say transferable, that means you can transfer your crypto money on a credit card. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, you can use it to buy a vehicle. That's you could use it to, could you use it to buy a house? Sure. You can now, yeah. yeah. So you pretty well can do anything with mm -hmm. the currency, so, I mean. In yes. Japan and Germany, it is legal tender. Yeah, it's oh. become legal tender. So, you know, you go look at, uh, there's a couple companies, I think they're based in Singapore. One's called uh, Monaco, the other one's called um, 10X. Um, and they, they attach. So you go and you can deposit your crypto, no matter what crypto it is, and that'd be Bitcoin, it could be hundreds of other types of altcoins. Mm -hmm. And you can attach that to a credit card, and you can use that credit card wherever you want. And so, like, so when you talk about you know, you're spending the money, you know, like, people understand Visa MasterCard, right? Well, mm -hmm. So, you know, let's talk about the practicality. Not every vendor in the world is going to take Bitcoin, right? You know, right. But they know a Visa MasterCard. So what they've done is they've got relationships with major credit card companies, right? To basically, it's like a, a prepaid card, right? So you okay. download money onto it, and then you use it. And so that's a way of people to get access to their money. Like, that's just one way. Um, but you, you see, so you can use your crypto at any time. It's not just sitting in ether piles, and you know, uh, you can't use it. Yeah. So you can use your money. Hi, Damien. How you doing? We're talking about cryptocurrency, and these are the big wigs, and you know, they can tell you anything. Any question you guys have, you can ask. If you guys want to know how you can get involved, you can ask. If you guys want to know what is on the market that is hot right now, you guys can ask. These two gentlemen will tell you guys where to go and how to get it. They're going to tell me where to go and I'm going to get it. <laughs> while in a nice way. In a nice way. While we sit here and eat. And we're also going to put their information up on the live when we're off. Come on, you guys. We're going to eat some of this steak because I tell you, this is the best. Damn. Like, really eat good. yourself. Sure. Come on. I really like it. Um, so, yeah. We're going to tell you where you can go. And you guys don't have to buy $26,000 notes, right? It could just be... A hundred dollars, like you, like you said, you, you can buy a thousand dollars worth, and you can buy small, small entity, right? Oh yeah, yep. And yes, yeah, so you can start wherever, and that's the cool thing. Too. Yeah, you don't have to go through a regular broker dealer system. And uh, um, I mean, I guess the only thing I can say is, is, is do a little research. Don't just jump in and because they're, they're like in any industry, there's a lot of scam artists that are there that are going to tell you the world and say that they're going to make you millions of dollars, right? That's right. Leanna. <laughs> <laughs> he says, are you paying for dinner with your... <laughs> I don't know, are we? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> when it's time to pay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, let me see if any more questions. These people, we don't know what else to educate. Some people aren't used to it. I mean... Mm -hmm. It's new territory. There's no question. Well, for a lot of them, right? Because uh, some of them know about it, but some of them don't understand it. Like, I still, I'm still working into it. Yeah. Well, well I mean, we could go into a deep dive and, and get into what blockchain technology is. But, you know, like, basically... I think you need to kind of censor on it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah you so do. When you get into a... Um, like, you know, what's wrong with this? Why we need intermediaries right now is because we don't trust other people. If I'm going to 
send some money to you mm -hmm. right now. I've got to tell my bank, to tell your bank that everything's okay. Right? So there's yeah. Meters. And then you use a few dollars why each bank is telling each other sure. what to do. Mm -hmm. Sure. And they got all these worker bees in the middle making that mm -hmm. Yeah. So in the crypto world, it's a trustless environment. What what it means is, is like it's like um, everyone's got their own version of what happened. And that's called a ledger. And it's called distributed ledger. So can you imagine all three of us here in a room and we decide to do something financial like I give you a buck dollars. So we all update our ledgers and we all go home and we come back the next day and say, well, what happened? Well, my ledger says this or that. Now, if you said something different, like, you know, you only gave me two dollars, we'd go, well, we've got a ledger. Mm -hmm. we say, you're wrong. We're going to correct it. Well, imagine, turn that into like millions of people, all checking every second, every second, every second. You can't break that ledger. That's the system. So that went along with some cryptography that helps uh, people protect their identity and, 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 and access their accounts and access their, their balances. That's the basics of the system. And they put it into a, a, what's called an immutable ledger, I meaning you can't change it. That just keeps, it, and they call them blockchain. And they just kind of attach to each other and they keep uh, and they keep adding on to the history of all the transactions. That happen. Leanna has another, um, qu uh, another statement. Yeah. No, there's a ton of volatility, and that's why I'm saying it. This isn't this isn't really for anyone. But then there's, there's there's people that like I've heard stories that just plug their money into one crypto, like a uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or something, and they just forget about it for a year. You know, and that's why I said don't put your rent money into something like this, right? Because for someone that has never been into stocks or investing, they're gonna look at the ups and downs. Oh gosh, I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna up and down or whatever it is, and they could make some pretty good and tough decisions because not everyone's gonna be a stock trader. I don't, I don't, I don't think everyone should be. But you, and I mean, you guys, I mean, you've done substantially well from your 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 crypto or only mm -hmm. right? So it it works for him and maybe he has a better business sense than the ordinary person that's going to sit out there to try to make such a decision. But as we were talking about a month ago, there's classes and things yeah. for them to come sit down so they can understand what they're doing and how they're investing their money. Yeah. Right? I would encourage right. people so to go and do that. It's better to educate yourself than get caught up in the, the, the buzz of saying, Oh, I'm going to make $200,000 or, you know what I mean? It's better to educate. Go to some of these classes. A matter of fact, the more you read and the more you go to these classes and, and, and learn things, the more the mind opens up and the more you can... Well, the light goes on eventually too, right? Sooner or later, right? Yeah. Because, like, like I, honestly, I looked at Bitcoin five years ago and I didn't get it, but until someone said Ethereum, until someone said, oh, there's something I felt I can do in exchange money, like Ethereum, the idea of creating a smart contract. Well, a smart contract could be anything. It's like creating software, putting it on a ledger. No one can touch it, no one can change it. Right. And, do, and, and creating a trustless environment where you can create virtual corporations, virtual organizations that have rules and regulations that no one can break because it's software. You guys say hi to my sister Barb. She's out there. Hi Barb. And hi Barb. She, she does real estate. Um, and she keeps voting for the number one seller of the year. Oh. So maybe she needs to um, <laughs> get some bitcoins. What do you say? I think it's a good idea. Hi, come sit with Have us. You know? I'm coming. I'm just coming. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. We're on. We're in live, and we don't want to. So sorry. No. When you're when you're done, come on over and. Okay. And I will. Yeah. It's so exciting. Cryptocurrency. Just crypto Cryptocurrency. I'm so excited. Are you? Okay. okay. Are you learn a new thing. Real estate. Oh Cryptocurrency. Yeah. Well, I was just telling, oh, oh I, I need you to sit here and let my sister see you, because okay. I was telling I'm her a little bit who you were. Just for a second. Just because for a second. Okay. I still need to go. Very sorry. Nice to see you. <laughs> Beata. Hello, Barb, hi. this is Beata. Say hello. Do you remember her? Maybe. She'll let me know in a minute. You guys got to come back here and tell the people, because they're out here now, and they're coming out. They want to know about this cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. Why can't I say it? Because I don't have any of that money yet. Okay, okay. Perfect. Um, somebody else said hello. Hi, hi, all. Okay, we have people out here, so let's now tell them about this Christian currency. We have more people, so we got to tell them what's going on. <laughs> Dave, you want to tell them a little bit of what's going on here now? Sure. We're here generally having a discussion about cryptocurrency, but it takes on many different shapes and forms now. Cryptocurrency is really the conduit to getting you, um, I guess, diversified in, in your financial portfolio. So for us, we're doing what's called an Oleum token, 
Oleum Capital has basically created a gap, a, a way to mer merge the gap between traditional assets like oil and gas and cryptocurrency to create funding where it didn't exist before. So that's one of the good ways that crypto is being diversified. But there's all kinds of different applications. There's cannabis crypto, there's real estate crypto, there's, there's all these coins being developed because, as Frank said earlier, Ethereum has allowed for smart contracts to be the trust factor to allow this stuff to happen. Uh, two years ago, it didn't even exist. So this is the new world. Uh, it's where well, it's going. It's like a computer, and, and there's a dot here and a dot here, and everything is connected. Yeah. Everything is connected. I like that. And it's yeah. like, you know, it's, that's what it's kind of saying. Yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah. So it's like a machine with all kind of different people buying different things, and everybody's connected to everybody. In, and it just because you keep spending and spending, it's going to keep connecting, going up, 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 that's up. That's a network effect. It's right? a net, that's it's what it is. Got. You've got all these people cool. listening to you and following it builds more credibility. Hey, cool. Yeah. Yep. Good way to put it. That is true. Another analogy is that it's like Ethereum and Bitcoin have created a highway, right? Yeah. And all these other people are joining the highway to get wherever it is that they want to go in whatever variety that is. So the highway didn't exist a couple of years ago. Now we can take you from here to there. What you do in between is your business. There you go. There you go. Great info. Great, great info. You're wonderful. I don't know if I'm wonderful or he's <laughs> wonderful, but I'm hoping it's me. It's got to be you. Or maybe it's you. It's got to be somebody. It's got to be you. I really, really, ho I really hope that we're helping some. We're helping you guys out there because everybody complains about not being rich. Right? Everybody complains about not getting the opportunity. Everybody complains about everything. And I'm telling you, I am here and bringing you people to, to, to educate you, to let you look a little bit more, read a little bit more. Research a little bit more so you guys can get that extra step to uplift you to the next level. And I mean, I can't put the money in your hand, but I can put the information in your face. Right. Totally right. Yep. Is it beautiful? Okay, yeah. well said, well done. Best advice. And we're also here at the, the Vietnamese kitchen, and I'm telling you, lamb is fantastic. And this beautiful steak that I'm eating, I love it, it's my favorite, and I will, it's incredible, honest to God, we're gonna, tur we're gonna turn it into a Bitcoin. This, this is gonna be a Bitcoin. Oh, the, uh, uh, this, would be, this would be tough to swallow, but. You know, but they said we're all wonderful, so they're not just giving me, they're saying everybody's wonderful, which is great. Thank you very, very much, Dan. Come on over here, Lamb, because Lamb is the yeah, one that... Let's switch that. Yeah, he's, Lamb is the guy that gives me everything. When I come to his place, he lets me shoot my island tea, <laughs> and he serves all kind of great food. Right? So say hello to the people. And hey guys, how are you guys doing? And Lamb made... What is this one called? This one here is a uh, wok hot shaking beef. It's a tenderloin uh, cubed beef in a uh, sweet, makey red wine sauce. And tell them where you're located and they can come. You serve lunch in your downtown, in the middle of downtown. Yeah, so, so if you're working in, um, in the, the, the high rise in building or you're close by, you can come in and have lunch, brunch, and he's open for dinner as well. Absolutely. Go ahead, I'll let you tell the rest. So we are located <laughs> downtown on 8th Avenue and 8th Street. The Russian name is uh, Pure Contemporary Vietnamese Kitchen and Bar. And um, um, Leanne said the, the food looks beautiful. The steak is to die for. <laughs> It is so soft and succulent. Did you see Dave, um, Dave over here? Couldn't stop. I want to tell him to stop taking all the meat. <laughs> I want it to count it. Mm -hmm. Taking it all. But yes, you guys. So we're taking a break to introduce the people that we're around, and we want to give them thanks for everything that they've done for us. And we're going to bring back Dave in here now to talk a little bit about the cars, and then we're going to get off and get out and go home. Everybody has to some place to go. And I got somewhere to go. Okay? Right. So we'll see you guys Everyone later. Come and check. The Vietnamese kitchen out because he is fantastic. Lamb is amazing. Come on over. It's just me and you. They ran away from us. How you doing? Get romantic now. Let's get romantic. Thanks. Woo! So, yes, you guys. Are there um, any other questions? I don't know if there's any more questions. I think you guys ran away, so the people ran away too. Oh, okay. It's okay. You guys need to, um, let me see if we can, um, you guys have to share the video. So that other people know what's going on with the bitcoins and all of this stuff. Because like they said, there's a pro, you know, there's a good and there's a bad. 
So you guys have to make sure you get the right and the correct information and protect yourself. Because there's a lot of dishonest people in the world, absolutely. So you guys, I brought these gentlemen here tonight to make sure that you guys get the right information. Well, it took me probably a good year to really get the technology as well. I mean, they just, because when it was in its infancy, uh, you know, there, it wasn't as slick as it was today. But just not just like the internet as well. I think we're just kind of, um, uh, I think it's going to be two or three years before really, really this gets mainstream. And that's why I think, you know, if you're, if you're at least learning about it now, you're going to have that aha moment quicker than other people. And, I mean, you got to get ahead of the game on this because, uh, I mean, like, mark my words, this is gonna, this, this will be game changing. And uh, just learning about it, educating yourself and going, well, how does this, how can this apply to maybe my business and what I do every day, you know? Someone's gonna come up with a great idea, just like the internet, you know, how all these beautiful companies got formed from the invention of the internet. Same thing is gonna happen with this technology. Someone's gonna go, wow, what, what can blockchain do? What can crypto do to my, my industry? And, uh, and so that's why I think it's really crucial that people learn about it. Leanna said, so where to go for the good info, best site, best site company? So where can she get the best information for the cup for, and for the best company, I guess? Um, well, I, you know, I think, I, think like, I, I have a little like, private firm where I, I, I go and help people out and, and educate them. It's uh, called CryptoWorks.ca. And, and we can write that underneath yeah, the bottom there. for you. When but I mean, like, like there, there's, there's lots of great sites like on, on, on the web to be able to just do a little bit of education on it. Um, like there's some great characters that will give you the background. There's a great guy named Don Tapscott who does a lot of really good um, theoretical like introduction into, uh, into crypto. And maybe we can put that in there as well. Uh, these were some of the original people that I started listening and learning on these YouTube uh, sites to be able to kind of get the base knowledge mm -hmm. and understand how game-changing uh, it is. Um, all I'm just saying is, it's just like in life, if it's like sometimes it feels like things are too good to be true, right? And then and then you uh, you uh, um, <laughs> you just got to learn a little bit more and understand it. Don't just kind of jump in on, on someone. Someone's promising you the world is, uh, is, is give yourself some education. Like I said, it took me a year before I kind of was like, oh, I get it. So give yourself that time because this isn't like, hey, it's going to be like you're going to make money next month. This is going to be game changing. This is going to be around here for years. So give yourself the time to learn it. I'd like to caution people too because there is a lot of opportunists right now trying to capitalize on this craze. Um, so try to do some research to differentiate between who's actually giving you real information and who's actually looking to make money off of giving you the information big difference there and there's a lot of them out there right now yeah. so crypto weekly is a great like newsletter every week gives you updates on what's happening and it's current uh, and of course Frank's website would be great because he's not in it to scam people um, but do your research yeah I mean uh, and, and I mean you can talk to friends and different people around it. It's just, I think everyone should there's a lot of great information out there but uh, um, just learn yep. You're welcome, Leanne. Um, I think we have, uh, where is it? Oh, um, Michelle said, great info. I'm going to research it all. That's great. fantastic, you guys. Share the video, you guys, so other people can get the information and they can get the help they need. If they were curious and if they were considering it, at least they know how to go forward. Hi, Barry, how you doing? You want some cryptocurrency, Barry? We know saying I love the government, so you don't like the cryptocurrency, not you. I'm gonna talk a little bit about yard talk for me now, not going to. Say something, no? Mm, I think it's, uh, um, how, do, how would you, how would someone relate to cryptocurrency? Say that it is, a, it's something that they can change their life. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, if you, if you hit the right target, you could be a millionaire. Yes, yeah, you could. You but could. if you hit the wrong target, or you, you get the wrong information, it could also hurt you. Mm -hmm. it, it could. And that's why I think some of the people that have done really well in this business um, really started with the technology. 
and learn the technology. There's a lot of people that just kind of jumped in and made the money on the ride up, yeah. and they're so-called experts. I'm going to tell you right now, if anyone's telling you they're an expert in this business, they're, they're runaway. They're lying to you because this business changes every week, right? There so, are no experts. Yeah. There, there's some people that have been in a little bit longer than others, but like this, this industry is changing month to month. Right? So day to day. Day to day. Yeah. yeah. But on average, the cryptocurrency is booming. It's going oh, mental. Yeah. Yes, right? Of course. Yeah. So it's hugely popular now, but we're just at the precipice of what this is going to be in a year or two from now. So, so do I am I going to get some currency from you two gentlemen? And I'm gonna say it while we're on live so that I can hold you guys in contempt. <laughs> and you can watch it grow. And I can watch it grow. Thank you, Cherie, for the love. We love it. We love all those loves. Fantastic. Yes, I need you guys to say yes on yes. on the show. Yes, you get some crypto. I'm gonna get some crypto. It sounds like good sex, but <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not. I think it's this little tiny round I thing, read. right? Maybe I really get one. yourself some crypto. Oh, well, Shari, I love when you give me those hearts. You know they make me feel so tingly inside. Oh, no come. <laughs> They're no, cute. The, no, he, it is, and you know what? I they, sometimes I beg them, and he, they go, you know what? Like my, and he won't stop the whole time that he watches me hard. I love hard. That's great. And Denton, hi Denton, how you doing? Do you want to learn a little bit about the the cryptocurrency, sweetheart? I know you just joined in because I didn't see you on at all. Okay, Sharif, what are you giving me like for? I don't like like. I like love. Get off it. Why are you laughing? What is so funny? There you go. That's what I like is the love. So you guys, you're not asking too much more questions. I am tired. These gentlemen are tired. They're going to eat the steak unless they have something else that you want to share with these fantastic people out here. We are going to probably say good night. Or we're going to wait for Sharif to give us all the love. And Barry, give me all the likes, thumbs up. Okay, you guys, just keep doing them. And then I'm going to feel so good and... Then I'm gonna, I don't want to go. There's more people that just came on, so please give them something new. So, so here's the thing: is, you know, everyone's giving you likes. Yeah. So here's an innovation in cryptocurrency. Yeah. There's, there's a, a guy that Someone created, the the guy that created yeah. another platform called Steam. Okay. So Steam community is a community where there's cryptocurrency, and it's, it's like a, a social networking site, just like this, where you can share content, videos. But if, if someone gave you a like. They'd be giving you steam dollars, and you'd be making money in real time. Mm. So it's like an upload. So if someone liked what you were saying right now, put it love, love, love. That'd be like steam dollars in your pocket every time. Boom, 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 boom. So how do I do that where I can get those likes to turn into so, dollars? So, so here's some research for you. Okay. There's a lot of people that are on YouTube, and a lot of people that are doing social media, right? They're moving over to this platform. They still stay on these platforms, but they're moving a lot of their content over because they're getting paid real time for this. So Steemit was invented by a guy named Dan Larimer. Dan Larimer was one of the, the original um, uh, blockchain guys. And so what you could do, we could be on a site just like this, and man, he's giving me all these loves, right? You can upvote, and the Steam dollar is worth something. So each Steam dollar right now is worth about $7 US dollars. Wow. And some people go click, 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 click. And it, it encourages you, so not only are you getting likes for your content, and that's great, because what happens if you get likes and views, right? is uh, um, YouTube goes to advertisers, right? And advertisers uh, pay, and then you get a little piece of action. On the Steemit network, there's no advertisers. It's just click, 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 people like you, and they get, and, and you get Steam dollars, which is worth real dollars. You can eventually take that out, and you can you can spend it, you can convert it to Bitcoin, you can convert it to US dollars, you can do many well, things. Everywhere you look, the Bitcoin is taking over. Well, crypto. Crypto. Crypto firms are taking over. So most people would say uh, 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 blockchain technology is really, because cause I, it's not that I, when someone just goes, tell me about Bitcoin, right? I'm telling, about, I'm telling them about something that is kind of, it's not going away, but it was one of the original. Yeah? Mm -hmm. People that have been in the industry are already working on other coins that I'm telling you right now that will surpass Bitcoin, right? But Bitcoin's that granddaddy that everyone trusts. Right? You know, why do you trust when someone gives you a dollar, right? Or gives you a, a, a Canadian dollar or a US dollar? Because you have trust in the government, right? Well, I don't have too much trust that they're, they're creating you dollars. <laughs> right? but, but why is Bitcoin so valuable? Because people have trust that there's scarcity in the coin and they can do something. So your job is to get me cloud money. Cloud money. 
Steam well, Chicago they're winter. They're, they're called Steam Dollars. Steam, Steam, Steam. I want Steam, steam money. You're, steam when we get off this, you're going to tell me the secret because I don't want everybody else to learn yet until I get it. <laughs> I don't care. I can't give I you guys it. everything. Right. All you know what I mean? You, I got to save some stuff give all for your myself. Toys away. Yeah, I can't give all my toys away. I got to save a little bit for me. Oh. You, you would love it because look at it. He's loving, 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 right? Yeah. That's just money in the bank. Well, um, and you know it doesn't come from him. Shari it comes from the community. Oh, Sharif, Sharif, what do you love? What do you love about me, Sharif? <laughs> Barry, what do you love about me, you guys? Tell me. Benton, what do you love about me? You guys tell me what you... Oh, God, Sharif is giving me more heart. You didn't tell me what you love about me. <laughs> Get it on Steam. We'll, we'll teach you on Steam, and then you can do a whole thing on Steam. You'll get okay. for Steam Absolutely, we're going to do that. That's what I'm going to get a Steam account. You'll get crypto right away, man. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. You want to get into crypto? You, you're creating this right now. You're going to get money. Because when I was learning about Steam, it was like a buck a coin, right? It's now about eight, nine bucks a coin, or seven bucks a coin, coming around that, that area right now. That's real money. Hmm. And your restaurant could do Steam. Well, it, it definitely, it, it, it's a social media platform where it the, is? the actual creator gets paid right now. Not the other way around where you got to do it through like Google AdWords and YouTube right. AdWords and all this kind of and stuff. somebody else pays. Or someone can control what you do. And Steve, it's a blockchain. It's an immutable measure. You can put whatever you want on there and no one's going to take, take you off because it, it's, it's not controlled by any one person or anything. So it's again like the, the blockchain we're saying. This person, that person, it's like a little... Yeah, it's a network. Like a cell. So a little cell network. It's yeah. a network that, that, that no one organization can stop. Like, that's the great thing about it. He loves about me every word. <laughs> no, don't kill me, Cherie. Don't let me die. Don't kill me. <laughs> I love about you every word, every show. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You, you got a fan. I got it. I got a fan. No. Fan me, baby. I was wondering, I was again. No, no. Someone. Yeah. Well, I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing, and I think it's amazing the things that are going on. I hope you guys took some of the information to help yourself. Thank you, Cherie. Holy God. There you go. Um, I hope you guys took some of this information and really use it to utilize yourself and your step and your life and whatever situation you're in. Because, again, we come to help, right? Okay. So, should we all blow them a kiss and say goodnight? I'm kind of tired. I need to go eat some of this food, and I think you all need to go to bed. That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. Pure kitchen. Beautiful food. Sharif. What does Sharif say? Wow. Thank you for the heart, Sharif. You rock. Oh, fuck. Here. I mean, woo. <laughs> woo. <laughs> edit. Um, no, nah, we don't want to edit. You can't edit nothing up here. This is real live show right here. Sharif. I think it's bedtime, baby. I think you need to go to bed. You need to rest now. Fingers. Your fingers are tired, baby. I know it. God bless each and every one of you guys for watching us tune in. Mm -hmm. May you guys have a fantastic day. I hope the information helped you. Bye, guys. Bye See now. you.